Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to add your name as a copyright. Very quick and simple way to do this and it's easy accessible every time you want to edit or watermark any of your photographs. I've been asked quite a lot from Facebook and from the YouTube channel could I show people how I do this so here we are. Very simple, very quick. What we do is type in what you actually want to show uh, to show on your images. In this case I've got Sean Wilson Photography. I've typed it out using Microsoft Word using the copyright symbol at the beginning of the text. Highlight it, right click and copy. Then we don't need Word anymore. Next thing we need to do go to File and New as we want a new blank sheet within Photoshop. Go to where it says Width 1000 Pixels height 1000 pixels so it basically gives us a white blank canvas make sure that the background contents is white as you need that to be invisible when you're going to apply this to your brush onto your images then I'm going to go to the text over on the left hand side by holding down the left mouse button and dragging it across make a nice little box you'll see the cursor flashing in the middle so right click inside the box and click paste. There you go. Tick the tick. Now I'm going to crop this down because we don't want all that going to be there. So we're just going to narrow it right the way down just for the signature. And then we can cut it right in. This is the hardest thing you've got to do. That's that. And as you can see now, that's what I want to appear on my um, images. So the next thing I want to do is this. Uh, text on the right hand side still appears so we need to go to layer and flatten image and as you can see now it's just the background once we've done that we go then across to edit and go down to define brush preset click onto that and name it what you want it to show so you can find it easy in this I'm just going to put copyright sw1 click OK and that's it you will not need that again now so I'm going to cancel that down don't need to save any changes because we've got what we wanted now what I want to do is I want to apply that signature onto this image very simple go to your paintbrush right click and as you can see there you've got all your brushes that you can select just scroll down all the way and you will see in this case the signature that I've got which is copyright SW1 it'll be the very last one at the bottom once you've done that you can adjust the size on how you want the signature to show as you can see I'm changing sizes which I'll do in a bit more depth in a moment I'm going to put it around about here so what I need to do is change the black foreground to in this case we'll go for white and the opacity is on a hundred percent and tick now if I want to um, add more but I don't want it as, as vibrant as that just drop the opacity down click it over the top and as you can see it blends in if I want it to go right across the image to act like a watermark all I will do is adjust the size of the text that we've made drop the opacity down to a loss opacity and try and find the middle and there you go it's as simple as that and every single time you use um, this brush tool on your signature all you got to do is just find where you want to put it make sure the opacity is the correct opacity to what you want and Bob's your uncle no more messing about you do not have to do that what we've just done all the time now all you got to do your additional image that you want to find you just find the brush go to the bottom and it's already there made out for you it's a one time fix brilliant well I hope you like that um, I'd love to hear from you if I can thanks to everybody that's emailed me for this I really hope that it's helped you out until next time bye for now 